Hey guys, Matt here from Code Tech and Tutorials. I know it's been a while. I wanted to make a quick video and show you guys some of my favorite C++ channels as uh, I might not be making videos quite as frequently. So uh, maybe I'd just show you some of the ones that I like to watch. Um, basically the only criteria to be on this list was if these people come out with new videos, I tend to watch them as soon as I can. So that's, that's the criteria. It doesn't necessarily mean they're the best channels to learn or whatever. There's no particular order. I'm probably going to skip over a lot of them that are, that you would think would be on the list of C++ channels just because, well, some of them, um, I guess they're just too long to watch every video they come out with or something like that. Or, uh, you know, honorable mentions might be in here. But, uh, you know, what really kind of made me decide to watch this or make this video is basically I just did a Google search for like C++ channels and like quite literally none of the channels that I thought were good were on the list. It was just all like stuff that was like, what? Why would that be on the list? So, for example, C++ YouTuber and we get Caleb Hurry. This guy, I'm pretty sure, hasn't made videos in like four years. So why is that on here? I don't know. Code Beauty. Uh, this is more of a clickbait channel. I don't know if the info is that good or not, but basically it's just like hot chicks talking about code. I don't think the quality is all that high, so I don't know why this would be on here either. Um, never heard of this, but when I looked at it, it's mostly Python tutorials, so I don't know what that has to do with C++ really, other than Python is made with C++ or C. Not sure what this is. Free Code Camp is just kind of random long tutorials about various things not very specific to c++ again the new boston doesn't make videos anymore although i did used to watch those when i was starting out a long time ago but yeah he hasn't made videos in many many years as far as i know programming knowledge uh really doesn't have anything to do with c++ it's just mostly python tutorials once again simply learn i have no idea so i was just like what why why would if you search for c++ youtubers you get a bunch of channels that aren't really relevant anymore and uh, obviously I'm not on the list, so uh, why, what's going on there? Just kidding, just kidding. Obviously, um, most of these channels have upwards of nearly a million subscribers, so that's like probably part of this search criteria. Obviously, I don't have a million subscribers, so I'm not going to be on the list no matter how good my channel is. And really, all the good ones that I actually watch, none of them are listed here. So I'm going to give you uh, my list of actual good channels that I watch. And I'm not, I'm going to try to avoid saying anything negative. I'm going to try to only say the positive things about these channels that I know. So I'm trying to make this kind of a more uplifting, positive video. All right, let's get into it. Um, I've got a little list here and I'm just going to go in no particular order. Well, one that's pretty obvious um, is Javid X9. This should obviously be on that Google search list. Why it isn't blows my mind but you almost can't find this guy. So, and he's one of the best C++ tutorial makers and game development makers. Uh, I'm, I'm a little biased towards game development. So a lot of these kind of talk about a little bit about game development too. But uh, JavaDex9, he's uh, super good at this stuff, teaches you all kinds of things about C++, how to do things, lots of tutorials, lots of uh, math integrations, Really good stuff. Yeah, anytime this guy comes out with a new video, I watch it as soon as I can and absorb as much as I can because some good stuff, some really, really good videos from Javid. So he's definitely on the list. Definitely check him out. Subscribe to his videos. If you want more content, sort of like mine, um, obviously somewhat different, but um, same in the regard that uh, teaches C++ stuff. His is probably a little more computer science-y. I think he's probably a little a little bit more knowledgeable on the math side than I am. As far as I know, I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate, but that's the impression I get when I watch his stuff. And that's one of the reasons I like it is because there's a lot to learn. And if you watch my channel, you're probably really going to enjoy his too. All right, let's go to the next one. Now, I probably couldn't do this video without mentioning the Cherno. I watch most of his videos, although um, I have kind of fallen off watching his videos a bit for no particular reason other than uh, the lo a lot of the stuff I just kind of already know, but it's really great for learning C++ and game development, and he kind of does some reaction videos and stuff as well, some, but 
huge game engine series. This one's really good. If you can manage to get through most of this, you will learn a ton. And just just a lot of kind of uh, just good content if you're trying to get better as a programmer and better as a game developer, or really anything in this series. So uh, I think the, the best thing his channel does is he just kind of explains things really thoroughly and well. So when he's doing a video on something, you tend to know that you're going to get content that's going to explain it pretty well. And uh, yeah, most of you have probably heard of the Sherno. I think when I look at like my channel's um, something page, one of the pages says like I share most viewerships with the Sherno. So I'm guessing that a lot of you already know about this one. But if you're not subscribed and don't watch the videos, definitely check him out. A lot of good content. Another really good one that is a little obscure is CPP Nuts. This guy makes a lot of tutorials about just how to do really specific things in C++, and they tend to be pretty good and pretty accurate as far as I can tell. So if you're trying to just get better at C++ and handling data and learning how to use the libraries and stuff, this is, this is going to be a good channel to watch and take a lot away from. So highly recommend this channel as well, and he still seems to be making videos, so that's awesome. Definitely check him out, subscribe to his channel, and uh, learn what you can there. Some great content. Now, I will say, um, a little more serious on this channel. He doesn't, oh man, I didn't want to say anything. Anything. I guess this is a negative, just, just a caveat. Like the first two channels I mentioned, uh, Javin and Cherno, they they tend to have a little bit of entertainment factor on them. CVP Nuts is more uh, more specific to exactly what's going on, kind of a little bit less entertainment factor. But uh, that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just it's probably better for learning, actually, so that might even be a, a good thing. However, YouTube doesn't care about that. They just want something else. I don't know what they want. I actually, I, I have no idea what YouTube wants anymore. I don't know how to make videos that do well on YouTube. I just get lucky sometimes. Another big one that you've probably already heard of, but in case you haven't, C++ Weekly with Jason Turner. Making C++ fun and accessible is what his little about thing says, and that's uh, probably probably as good as, as good as the description gets. However, there's a lot of like fine compiler details that he gets into. A lot of uh, comparing, we'll say, comparing different ways of doing things and seeing which one is faster and stuff like that. And he's usually breaking it down to the compiler level. So I think this channel is really good to watch if you want to understand more about how C++ works on a lower level and how it compiles down to machine code a bit. I guess uh, usually looks more at the assembly than machine code. So I think this is a really good one if you're if you're new to C++ or if you're even pretty advanced. I think it kind of goes well from new to advanced. So I think that's one of the really good things about his videos. And I tend to watch pretty much everything that comes out on his channel too. A lot of good takeaways. I've definitely learned a ton here. And I think a lot of you guys could probably benefit from checking out uh, a lot of his content too. So check him out. Another channel I watch uh, quite a bit is Chili Tomato Noodle. This channel is a bit more vulgar than all the others. Uh, just a fair warning for some of you that might watch with kids around or something. Uh, this one's probably going to be more of one for headphones. When a lot of game development, a lot of C++, and recently he's been getting into uh, hacking ROMs or changing ROMs, which I thought was uh, really interesting and really cool. And something I've always kind of wanted to do too, so it was really neat to see him start to dive into that. Definitely check him out. A lot of really good C++ stuff on Chili Tomato Noodle. And uh, quite entertaining too, in my opinion. So show him support. And uh, definitely, definitely take away what you can if you're trying to learn from this channel as well. Another really good one is BizQuit. I may have mentioned this a bit before in past videos. BizQuit is incredibly advanced and obviously incredibly smart i i often cannot keep up with his videos because he's just doing stuff that's i have to re-watch and re-watch and and dig into to even understand like 10 second clips of his videos so kind of on a whole nother level uh yeah definitely good if you want to get nearly uh advanced as as possible that's a weird way of wording that but yeah i think watching a channel like this you're going to get some really good computer science and c plus plus content and 
apparently he's talking about frequencies recently. I haven't watched some of those yet. But some really good stuff on his channel. Um, yeah, definitely highly recommend watching. I just, I just love seeing him hack things together. It is very entertaining and a great learning experience at the same time. So definitely check him out if you don't know about that channel. And if you haven't heard of Handmade Hero or Molly Rocket, I don't know if the name changed or what, uh, not real sure, but he has a huge, huge swath of stuff about, well, I guess it's mainly C, but it tends to be a lot of C++ as well. But if you're really trying to learn C and want to do it from a video form, uh, this Handmade Hero series seems to be really good. I haven't watched all of it, but I am uh, trying to keep up and trying to catch up uh, with a lot of it. There's also, uh, I guess you don't say it here, but he does have an intro to C. So if you're very new, check out his intro to C video or playlist. I think the way to watch this channel is to go to his channel, check out playlists, and uh, just check out uh, whatever you want, you know, whatever you're interested in. Uh, really good content, seems to be pretty accurate, generally knows what he's talking about. So would highly recommend if you're looking for more uh, C++ and computer science content there. Uh, I'm going to mention a couple more. They're not necessarily as C++ related as the uh, the others have been, but I figured I'd just get them in here because I don't think they're as well known. Jonathan Blow, a bit of a controversial figure in some ways, but obviously very intelligent and works on a lot of cool projects, like his own compiler and games. and He does some streaming and stuff too. But he often produces some pretty good content, especially related to more of the industry of, of this kind of stuff. Because uh, I think he kind of, I'm trying to think how to explain it, I don't know, he just kind of dives in and talks with the community a lot. And I think that's really good. He answers a lot of questions, and I think he does so very honestly. And there's definitely a lot to learn here. It might be hard to get, like, uh, you know, beginner tutorials here. But once you start getting more advanced, or if you're just trying to sort of learn the culture of uh, how to do things correctly without caring too much about the current meta, but rather, you know, just like what is actually the best way without, you know, as I don't know about you, but uh, I find that the public or general most popular opin opinion seems to be wrong for a lot of the stuff I'm doing. And I think he kind of coincides with that. So I really like, like his takes on things just because it's uh, another angle that you don't often hear, but usually quite good. So definitely check him out if you haven't. And the last one I'm going to mention, probably one you also uh, know about, or maybe you don't, I don't know, Thin Matrix. Now, he doesn't really do C++ stuff, it's more Java, but it translates really well. The concepts are almost exactly the same. And he does a lot of devlogs recently, but there are some old past uh, Java game tutorials, and I actually went through a lot of these early ones along, from a long time ago and did them in C++ instead of Java, because the code is almost exactly the same, the concepts are almost exactly the same, so it actually felt pretty good and worked pretty well, although it doesn't necessarily fit the title of this video since he mostly does Java, but uh, it's just very easy to transfer from Java to C++ once you get to get beyond the beginner level. So I think this is another really good channel to check out. It also gives you an idea of stuff you could do from scratch because he doesn't use any game engines or anything. He writes all his own stuff, including his renderer and his game engine and his all his functions. So that's really cool. It's just really cool to see uh, what you can potentially, uh, you know, do with uh, just from total scratch and all on your own. And it's, uh, it's just really cool to see someone using all open source stuff and making games and documenting it quite well. And I uh, just love to see all these types of channels supported. So that's all I got for now. That's everything on my list. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch more. You can leave comments down below if you think there are some great ones that I missed. And uh, just, you know, consider supporting all these channels. And if you want to see more from me, consider supporting. I kind of need video ideas right now. Well, one of the reasons I haven't made a lot of videos is I, I feel like I don't have any great ideas for videos right now. I've been trying to come up with some, and occasionally I'll come up with one here and there. But uh, for the most part, I've been pretty busy working on other things or on more private projects that I can't really share on YouTube or uh, I can't really stream. So that's just been a lot of my life recently. But if you want to leave some comments about uh, other good channels or what kind of content you'd like to see from me that you think I could do well, that'd be great. If you're on Patreon or if you're a member of this channel, 
your comments are going to hold a lot more weight and i'll try to respond to everything so uh yeah i guess that's it i appreciate you guys thanks for watching i hope you found this video useful i hope you uh, find some of these other channels useful and i'll see you guys in the next one take care peace out